All right, guys, so I finished getting this uh, piston out of here. Um, that's going to be difficult to put back in. I'm going to watch Gary Ferraro's videos. He's uh, got like a whole six-part series on rebuilding this transmission uh, and another part for tearing it down. So probably lots of tips and tricks to find in there. But if I can get this to focus that, I would say this is our smoking gun, uh, much more so than those ring lands. Um, yeah, this this thing's had a bad time, and uh, that's going to cause a lot of leak down when the uh, low clutch is being applied right there. And so I think if we get this fixed up, we'll have a nice new um, family vehicle for use. So uh, if anybody's curious how I got to this part, um, it does look like compounder... <coughs> was the right direction it was just a slightly different symptom you know everybody expected these ceiling rings to be the problem um wasn't it another issue i i guess that happens is that these uh little retention grooves for a big fat snap ring this guy down here i guess those get kind of worn out and uh sometimes these teeth i've seen pictures of these these busting off and laying in the bottom of the transmission pan um my fluid wasn't too bad my clutches weren't burnt you know you can still see the the grooves on all the friction material and everything um i've got like i said the thing ran and drove great there wasn't a lot of metal shavings in there um just that that fine dust you expect with a hundred thousand miles just a little bit on the plug nothing to worry about you can remove the compounder, still in the vehicle, obviously. Uh, that consisted of pulling this pan and the lower pan and the side pan. You got to do all three, sorry to tell you. Um, let me get my light. And then basically you remove the transmission filter. You can find other videos on all this stuff. This is nothing nothing new here. And then you got to remove your valve body. I'm going to need a new gasket, unfortunately. This one tore to pieces. Um, make sure you don't lose this little, little seal right here. Um, sometimes people replace those. Sometimes they put them in backwards, and that causes problems. Uh, biggest problem people are going to have pulling the valve body is these three tubes and they they go into this passage here and they plug right into the compounder assembly uh, right there and they come from the bottom of the valve body uh, what you want to do is you want to try to get them to stay in the transmission while you're prying the valve body free um, and my I've seen a lot of the pros struggle with this even and it started to get difficult but what I did is I grabbed a set of these little hose clamp pliers or hose pliers and I reached up in here and I gripped onto one of those tubes right here when it was sitting there and I held on for dear life to hold it still and then I pried on the valve body so if you watch other videos you'll watch people kind of struggle with that this, I struggled with it until I did this, and this made it real easy. Um, got me out of a bind. And uh, and then this, there's a big 2-inch retaining nut dead center here that you'll see holding the big drive gear on the, the compounder assembly on, and you got to pop that off. Um, that was my solution there. I'll probably need a new nut. I don't know where that thing went. There it is. Um, unfortunately, it's got these little... You hammer it down into these grooves on the shaft. And uh, so that's kind of a, a one-time deal. Um, threads get kind of boogered up after that. So anyway, I got a short list of things to order. Valve body gasket. Um, I think all my clutch clearances were we're good. I'll check those again and then I'll get a new apply piston. I'm going to go ahead and get the updated version of this uh, low drum 
and uh, put everything back together and keep our fingers crossed. Wish me luck.